well. I might know. I might have seen you around. Or your folk, really. Regardless, um, Kaylin Wellman, I, I am Rosamund Rima. And I'm uh, Organ Mission. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I'm Aaron Trust. I need a certain, certain blue person to roll a knowledge check as he heard Hagen's last name. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, what? What am I rolling? History? Yeah. Oh boy. Mm. Ah. Oh God. Yeah. Oh. Well. You know, there's Thank a famous, you. famous reader that's still active with the last name of Meeson. Upon hearing Hagen's name, she kind of looks at him and kind of takes a step back up against the tree and kind of reaches behind her. Like, could you say that again, please? Uh, name's Hagen Meeson. Uh, well, looks like you have heard of it already. Uh, he's... Well... Hogan here is actually very lovely. It's, uh, he may look scary, but he is the kindest fellow I've met so far. I can vouch well, for him. I'm a pal. I wouldn't really say cut is, but thanks. Uh, oh, biggest come on, boy Vicar, with you're, biggest being, you're just being too humble. You're lovely, truly. So she pulls her hand back out in front of her, you know, like kind of easing up a little bit, and just looks at Hogan and goes, Distant relative? Right, and us distance as I'd like them to be, because he said I'm a cousin. Wait, and like, Aaron's kind of like, looking around, looking back and forth confused, it's like, what's, what's going on? Well, uh, you know, uh, what was your name again? Yeah, yeah. yeah. wonders to Ilona. Uh, she introduced herself, uh, Ilona Jimson. Ranger uh, Ilona Jimson. Uh, uh, well, uh, Ilona, um, my cousin, well, she knows that uh, of my cousin, Arno Mizzen, that we're so a bastard to ever come out of any sort of words. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it. He's, mm. uh, well, I'm sorry about swearing, though. Just, just, I uh, really don't like the bastard. Sorry. It's quite all right, uh, Hagen. And no offense, but I think saying that might be insulting the woods he came out of. <laughs> so, family issues? What? Family issues. Sort ish. Yeah, I can relate to that. Mm. Ain't, but, ain't proper to dwell on it, but not now. Exactly. Couldn't agree more. And she looks back to Kata and goes, and to answer your question, I'm a Smurf Neblin, or a, as you surfacers like to call us, a deep gnome. Oh. A gnome? I've seen one of them in <laughs> ever, really. Much like... I'm sorry, Rima, I never met a deep gnome before. Yeah. She was much like Rima, was it? Yes, Rima. Much like he is to, well, you, pointing to Kata, I am to a gnome. Hmm. Ah, hmm. well, I'm actually a half elf, really. And she quickly adds at the end of that, but much nicer. Hey, Rima, <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Actually, I will watch for the rest of my folk being uh, part of my part of my French, but assholes. What's French? What's French? Part of my part of my elven. Part of my elven. Part of my elven, but fret but he there rustles. Part of my elven, but French. <laughs> the drow are very French. Oh. Well, I mean, they eat. They do. <laughs> they do, <laughs> they do, do eat weird shit. I know, you, 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 get, you guys kind of see your prisoners. <laughs> Can I come up to you? Can we like get a move on or do something? We're gonna rest. Oh. Sit your ass down. Hey, no force in a couple of hours now. Any, any, any right, right. Uh, we should tie them against a tree. Yes, that's yeah. what I was gonna check the tree for until you know we found a new friend. Apparently. Well, it's yeah. very nice to meet her. If she wants to travel with us along the way, that's 
I think that's all right. Safe, so safety in numbers and all that. Uh, where, true. where exactly are you all headed? We are uh, yes. going to well, a uh, far uh, destination is Westgate. Yeah, but we're going to Tilverton right now or Shadowdale first. She uh, thinks for a moment and kind of rubs at her chin and goes, never heard of it. I'd love to go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a rough place. Are you sure you want to go? Can't be. I'm sure she'll be fine. She's a tough girl <laughs> from the looks of it. Are you a tough girl? She looks at Kata and goes, I literally just spent several days on the border ethereal. I think I'll be fine. That was Aaron. Or no, the one who said, um, it's a it's a tough place. Are you sure you want to go? I guess you'll oh, look okay. at both of them and say that. Well, but not, Steve, Steve, not like not in like a meme way, just like in a matter of fact, like I just spent like several days in this one place. I think I'll be okay. Well, does that one place include include getting pickpocketed, ma mugged? Uh, what what else can happen to a criminal place? <laughs> And uh, while Kata is saying this, like while she's like going on about like yeah, listing oh, crimes, yeah, and like Aaron's just going to like, in a very cheeky way, pick like just try to like you know like pick one of her pockets, like not in a way like whole whole like oh I'm stealing from her, but sort of like oh pickpocket like this, <laughs> <laughs> a demonstration if you will, like maybe he's doing pantomimes of each of the yeah. crimes. Exactly, like while Cat is behind her. Like, this like... is an axe murder. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you put a throw. Quest. <laughs> Mugging, sitting. Oh, no. Mugging, and then she turns around and just like straight up socks one of the bandits in the eye. No, I just oh. find that a mug. <laughs> but you actually sock him? I'll, I'll say she just lightly slaps him, smuggling. Uh, oh, what was that for? Her mouth's back. <laughs> smuggling she like pretend like she like pretends like she's hiding something under her like vest now but to answer your uh, question miss fractal there wasn't a much of anything to be honest it's do you not know what the border ethereal is no something magical i assume well, exactly well yeah. Uh, and something magical would probably not include various crimes such as smuggling, mugging. <laughs> and she's just, she's just well, it all again. Uh, she kind of stops and thinks about that for a moment, and she kind of just, after a moment, you know, after a moment's consideration, just kind of mutters mostly to herself, "That would depend on how far out you go." Hmm. So she knows more about magic than she's letting on. Okay. She uh, she knows more about a very specific avenue of magic. So, so gun magic. So uh, the, magic. The, the two prisoners you have kind of start sitting down and start chatting with each other in a low voice. Are you scared? Mm. Does Hogan hear what they're saying with his super ears? <laughs> Passive you perception do, you... fifteen. Yeah, but Hogan, uh, yeah, Hogan is pretty much higher. Yeah, they're talking about what the fuck they should do. Um, I mean, 16 passive perception, um, what are they on about? And is it in Thieves' Camp? No, it's not in Thieves' Camp, they're talking in common. They're not being that secretive, they're not like... <laughs> they're just talking in a lower voice, like, what the fuck are we supposed to do now? You ever think about the fact that we're kind of horrible people? It's like, nope. nah. arguing about where to take them, randomly slapping them in the face. <laughs> you know, oh, they've been, uh, yeah. they've been part of a lot worse things. Yeah, Hogan is just going to go and sit by them. He's just going to say, if you just, you know, keep down, don't try to cause any troubles for us. And, you know, just, you know, we'll, we'll, I will try to take you to Tilburton. Because I don't know. want to see your head on some sort of pike now. You don't scare me. I ain't here to scare you. You don't if scare I'm worried, me. I'd be wearing something He's much here to be nice. Accept it. You don't scare I, I, me. Oh, they they keep saying. No, no, no. No, fur, fur, fella. What's your name? What's your name? He was a big cop, bad cop. <laughs> no, he, he, Hogan just does good. He I gave them name last session, but I don't remember the names. 
Frankie and Spanky. <laughs> Reggie, Reggie and Trevor. No, no. Frankie and Spanky. It, it's Trev. It's Trev and Arnold. But, but my name is Trev, and that <clears throat> that all this on its Fred. You you all understand something? Do you? We don't want you to be hurt now. Well. He just looks to Aaron just a little bit, just after he has been slapped by her. It's like, right, some of us don't want you to be hurt now. And I know that just, you know, this ain't what you want. But if you try to run, we'll try to get, take you down again. And some of us ain't as kind as me. Just understand this. Just understand this. We, uh, we just want you to have, you know, best we can give you without you, you know. Going out thieving and robbing again. So we don't want that. When Hagen finishes, uh, Ilona catching on to what's going on, kind of holds her hand up and waves at him and goes, I am a ranger and you are on a plane. Just remember that. Well, that's and, plain uh, to see. If, you, if you try to do something in the night, don't. Just don't. And he'll, and Remo will just smile and look at them. And With a very drow. meaningful look in his drow eyes. Yeah, uh, Hogan just you know, uh, you know, you know, hears what Fred whispers to him. Well, well, he's a bloke, but otherwise he ain't nothing bad with him. Sure, he's a little bloodthirsty and at times meek, but he's he's a bloke. <laughs> Seems very bloodthirsty to me. What is Fred Francis? Hogan just looks to Rima at Rosman. He's just like, well, he doesn't look that scary. He's just, you know, he's got that weird glint in his eyes that he always saw on fairies when they were about to do some fucking mischief. But otherwise, he's pretty decent, right? Yeah, well, I don't, I'm not really that, I don't really have that much problems until it comes to people that I know have, uh, you know, associated them with themselves with slavery, and as much as I may look like a kind of the guy that would endorse it, I really don't. Uh, well, I prefer it, magical servants and all that jazz. Well, it is the thing. Just because someone did something in the past don't mean they won't change the future. Oh, it well. won't change... They might change in the future, but the uh, likelihoods of that are slim well, you know without names? reinforcements. I don't, but I do know they're kind. Ah, then you know that they don't do it because most of them enjoy it, because, well, they just follow the flow. Okay? I've some seen of them of... may, some of them might know nothing else. Hey, let's show them something else instead of just saying, oh, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you. No, uh, don't do that. For Fred, can I just... Just... You know, your idea is about getting to the root of social ills instead of attacking the ills themselves are fascinating. <laughs> Regardless, Look, we carry it. The guys, idea is there, no? Rev, all I want to say is that if you just behave, we're, we're not. We're gonna make sure that this isn't, a, you know, this place, this well as as pleasable as this situation can be. Really. Trev, can I says one thing? I love Hagen. One thing though, can I headbutt her and point towards Erin? No. Well, she just sticks her tongue out at them. Yeah, he just looks questioning to Aaron, just like, will, will you allow this? <laughs> Why? Well, you did slap him. I was making a point. Ah, and he's making a point that he doesn't like it, maybe, you know. Well, no, it doesn't seem like that, so... Uh... But don't worry, she's just fragile. If you say so. Big boy is best boy. Do you guys have food? Right, yeah. Oh, I could yeah, share my Some, some proper food. food today. Right. Well, we don't have proper food with us. Go but... hunt some then. Um, well, I was going to say, question. They're on a plane. Some kind of resort? They, Look, yeah. I have rations here. We all have rations. We'll share equally with everybody. I mean, you, you're you best at us. Shouldn't you like congratulate yourself, you know, with some proper venison? Uh, that sounds suspicious. Well, I wouldn't really do that if I 